Hello, I'm Gabor, and I'll be presenting a new framework for predicting visual attention from long-term gaze dynamics. Predicting attention can reduce the friction of interaction in adaptive computing systems. For example, it can switch the input of a keyboard to another device in advance, allowing for a smoother transition. Now, previous studies used only short video clips and eye movements from a few seconds, so long-term gaze dynamics on the scale of several minutes hasn't been investigated for predicting future gaze. Now, we hypothesized that there is rich structure in long-term gaze dynamics, and it can be used to predict future gaze. So first, we recorded eye movements during a fictional 16 minutes long VR meeting. Here is a video snippet when a participant was observing the meeting, and here is the map of the VR environment showing the bounding boxes of the relevant objects and people conveying information during the meeting. We investigated the value of uh, long-term gaze dynamics in predicting visual attention. So we came up with a new framework suitable for AR and VR applications where we extracted the gaze directed only to our target objects. These target of interest were all the objects and people conveying information during the meeting. Now this preprocessing preserved the relevant information in the case for interaction, namely what is the target of attention, while it also reduced the problem space from coordinates to only few target objects. So here's an example for our input data. It is a time series. So there are time steps on the x-axis and uh, the number of gaze samples in a time step on the y-axis across the different target objects represented by these different colored lines. Now using this data, we trained time series models assuming simple linear and also nonlinear latent dynamics. The model used gaze counts as input and were trained to predict gaze counts one time step ahead. We employed standard data splitting techniques and we built within subject models. In our results, we used fraction of variance unexplained to measure the prediction error on the test sets. We found that the RNN models perform the best, which suggests that the structure in the gauge dynamics is more complex than a linear combination. Now, this pattern of results were highly consistent across all subjects. We visualize the predictive performance of an RNN model for a subject. So here, the black dot is the gaze point, and the coloring of the top and the bottom part of the bounding boxes shows the predicted target of future gaze. And we can see that the model can predict uh, future targets quite often. Here, for example, predicting the screen as future target, and then Tobias. Thank you.